this is my wife Paula, and and we are helping out with the young adults at the Evangelical Covenant Church here in Bemidji, and uh, it's our ministry is Compass at the Covenant. Sunday mornings. After the message, we gather around for a young adult lunch, and we have students from Oak Hills Christian College and Bemidji State University and the Technical College, as well as other young adults in the workplace who gather for a meal, and that happens every Sunday. One thing we've learned is that the college students love a home-cooked meal, whether it's, <laughs> whether it's served in a home or at the church. So we will get 30 to 40 students who stick around Sunday for the meal. And then Monday night, uh, we have a small Bible study and uh, here at our house. We just started that here a few months ago. We've been able to see God move by having young adults be encouraged by having a place to come for a meal, a study, and just an adult who cares about them. Working in this ministry with full-time jobs is challenging, but, but these uh, young adults are also the ages of our kids. And we don't have kids living in the home right now because they're all grown up and moved away. And so this is our opportunity to continue to connect with that age in a way that we don't connect with our own kids. Mm -hmm. It's a different relationship that, uh, than parents have with kids for us to have with these uh, young people. I love the noise in the house. <laughs> it's a selfish thing, maybe. Uh -huh. We had a bunch of them over for brunch, and we had a little pancake French toast bake-off. And it was just, everyone was laughing and having fun, and mm -hmm. it was nice to have the noise in the house, because we're not super loud people. <laughs> <laughs> has been about five years in the making mm -hmm. but for us. Really this uh, most recent request was about 10 months ago, nine or 10 months ago, so just last spring. Mm -hmm. uh, we were offering this Adopt-A-College student program, but we weren't, weren't always successful in getting families for the number of students that wanted a family. So we had young adult students who had signed up and we just couldn't find them a family, so we ended up they ended up being kind of our adopted students as well, which was just fine. Um, but we did realize that we could do more. And so since last spring, we did do this relaunch. And uh, we have spent more time with Verge Ministries. We've already developed relationships with other people throughout Minnesota. It's nice to see people that you can interact with who have the same interests as you do in uh, these young adult lives. Thank you.